India is one of the world's largest consumers of antibiotics and one of the main reasons behind this is the ease with which you get and the availability of antibiotics over the counter, the falsely prepared or poorly prepared prescriptions which makes it a test case for how effective and how good is it to have this random usage of antibiotics. Also, as we all know, antibiotics don't always come cheap. It is also important to ensure that they are of good quality and effective. Well, there is a ray of hope, especially under the umbrella of the Prime Minister's flagship program of Ayushman Bharat, India's first indigenously developed antibiotic. It goes under the name of nephithromycin, but it is the trade name is that of Miktaf. These are the uh, antibiotics which are still going to be going through one last test before they're going to be freely available in the market. It is one indigenously developed, as we have been saying. It's gone through the entire process of cross-check, repeated checks and counter-checks, so as to ensure that they are not a health hazard and they're safe to consume. While the price has not yet been announced, this announcement of India's indigenously developed antibiotic was made by Mr. Jitendra Singh, the minister, and also, basically, it is one huge step forward as far as India's Atman Nirbharta is concerned, especially as far as the health sector is concerned. Well, I'm just going to go through the draft note which has been accessed by us. And in that draft note, there are very key bullet points which have been given about why this becomes a safer and a better option and a go-to really for as far as Indian consumers or uh, you know uh, patients are concerned. First of all, the efficacy, that's one big factor which is why it swings the uh, you know uh, in, in its favor now nephithromycin it is considered to be 10 times more effective than say azithromycin which is something which you all have been consuming at some point of time so as to deal with various uh, illnesses one of the main concerns over here in india is say pneumonia uh, there has been a kind of a drug resistance which has also been uh, developed as far as one particular strain of this uh, uh, you know kind of pneumonia is concerned it is believed that nephithromycin actually can be much more effective in fact if you go by the sources and the information given to us it is believed to be 96.7 percent more effective than its counterparts which are presently available in the market it also targets the pathogens it effectively treats both the typical and the atypical drug resistance bacteria which i spoke about it is also believed to have no significant side effects one more reason why one opts for this will of course be safety and also this is the first antibiotic of its class developed globally in more than 30 years which means that they're going to be globally recognized so you know something which the prime minister has been focusing on something which this government has been focusing on that we need to get more and more self-reliant. India has a rich legacy and history of medicine and uh, why should we not tap that? This is of course once freely available in the market, safer, uh, more effective and of course a cheaper option.